Earlier this month, I told the U.S. Congress that our best estimate is that the United States government will be unable to continue to satisfy all of its obligations by early June and potentially as early as June 1 if Congress does not address the debt limit before that time. That projection underscores the urgent need for Congress to act as soon as possible. In my assessment, and that of economists across the board, a default on U.S. obligations would produce an economic and financial catastrophe. Millions of Americans could lose their jobs, household incomes would be reduced, American businesses would see credit markets deteriorate, and millions of American families that receive government payments would likely be left without the resources that they were promised. This would make it dramatically harder for households to spend and businesses to invest. A default would threaten the gains that we've worked so hard to make over the past few years in our pandemic recovery, and it would spark a global downturn that would set us back much further. It would also risk undermining U.S. global economic leadership and raise questions about our ability to defend our national security interests. Short of a default, brinksmanship over the debt limit can also impose serious economic costs. We know this from recent history. As we learned in 2011, just the serious threat of default can lead to a downgrade of our credit rating and a weakening of consumer conference, confidence. We could see a rise in interest rates drive up payments on mortgages, auto loans, and credit cards. We're already seeing spikes in interest rates for debt due around the date that the debt limit may bind. And there is no good reason to generate a crisis of our own making. The U.S. Congress has raised or suspended the debt limit almost 80 times since 1960. I urge it to act quickly to do so once again.